Hello, my name is Nico Rockensuis from Minefield and today in this video I'm going to talk about the combination of several essence with each other. We talk about the options you have to combine an essence with another one, uh, the limitations we have in this case and how to do it in the essence mobile app and also how to look at the data afterwards, okay? So at first, let's have a quick look at our essence uh, in general. Let's have a look at our website here when you're going to minefield.de uh, slash en or you can switch the site to English here on the flag. Um, you first can look at our products, biofeedback products, our products, and you see here are the essence sensors. So you may already have heard about them or you may already own one or more of these essence sensors. And um, yeah, let's have a quick look at the overview. We have a pulse sensor, a respiration belt, a skin conductivity sensor and a temperature sensor. And um, soon there will be also available an eSense muscle two channel EMG. But for now, for this video, we're looking at these four eSense and um, three of them, the respiration, skin response and temperature, they are using the microphone input of a smartphone. So um, where the, the connector where you connect your headset normally, uh, this 3.5 millimeter uh, small plug and um, the e these eSense transmit the data to the, over the microphone as tones and then our app is recalculating them back. So um, due to technical reasons, when you connect one of these respiration, skin response and temperature to your smartphone, the microphone input is blocked by this plug of one of these. So you cannot connect another one, just it is not possible. And um, therefore, the only combination we can offer is the combination from the Essence Pulse. The Essence Pulse is using Bluetooth, so a different way of communicating with your smartphone or tablet. So you can combine the Essence Pulse with one of the three others, okay? So Pulse means measuring your heart rate, your heart rate variability, possibility to train your heart rate variability, while in parallel you can also combine it with the Essence Respiration or the Skin Response or the Temperature, yeah? So one of the three other. Um, when you go to a product page, you just we can just click on one of these eSense here. And then we are at the product page. Uh, you also find it in biofeedback products, eSense, and then you have the product pages here. Uh, then you find out can find out everything about the pulse. And um, there is one PDF file, the eSense conversion here. <clears throat> uh, this is on every product page of every eSense. So when you click that, uh, you have a nice table overview here, again, of these now five essence, including the muscle. And you see, first, uh, there is one important thing. Is it an individual device, which is the case for all, but not the respiration. The respiration is an add-on for the skin response. So you connect it to the skin response sensor instead of uh, the skin conductance electrodes, you connect the respiration belt. Yeah, so you need the skin response for the respiration. Um, and so the respiration also uses the microphone input uh, to send the data to the smartphone or tablet uh, as it does using the skin response. Um, and here we have the point possible combinations. And you see, yeah, there are possible combinations. The Essence Muscle is so far also using Bluetooth, but not available for any combination with the other as it is quite new and there will be some possible combinations later on, probably, but not for now. And then we, we have some little notes here down. So for number two, three, four, and five, it says, yes, um, with the Essence Pulse, you can combine it and uh, only with a single one. Yeah. So the Pulse itself um, can be combined with, as I said, skin response, temperature, or respiration. Yeah. So this is how you find out. And now let's have a look at the app and I'll explain you how to combine it.
Yeah. First of all, of course, you need to um, download the app from our app store and uh, install it on your device. I have it here on an iPad mini uh, as a demo device. I highly recommend uh, to use a tablet, yeah? an iPad does not have to be the latest iPad model, can also be an older one, refurbished one or something. So an iPad is a very good choice to use the eSense or you can use um, an Android tablet if you don't have, of course, an iPhone or an Android smartphone will do as well. Um, yeah, when you have started the app, as you can see here now, how do you combine it, the eSense? You, as I said, eSense Pulse plus one of the other. So the combination is done in the eSense Pulse part of the app. We hit continue without account in this case. So an account here is not required. Um, and then we go to the Minefield Essence Pulse section by tapping the Essence Pulse logo. Um, I'm asked for procedures and open training. The combination is done in open training. So we go to open training. And um, within the open training, I go to settings by hitting the small uh, gear wheel icon at the bottom of the settings. Yeah. So I have not connected any eSense now, right now, but now would be the moment for you to do that. So please uh, put on your eSense Pulse, um, prepare it as usual as, you're, as if you would use it alone, um, have it ready and uh, connect it here. So you can choose eSense Pulse and connect it here so that you have the Bluetooth connection established, established here and connected it within the app. Never connect the eSense Pulse outside the app, not in the Bluetooth settings of your smartphone or tablet, only connect it in here in the app. So once you've done that and your eSense Pulse is shown here and ready to be used, there is this point combined feedback here, uh, which you can see on the feedback and I can put that on. And then I can choose from temperature or skin response and I will also show you how to choose respiration. So, but here you choose in between temperature and skin response. And um, the respiration is a respirational feedback. So you find it under the breast pacer. So I activate the breath pacer and then I see use Essence respiration below. Okay, so um, the breath pacer is available without Essence respiration. Then it's an artificial one where you can have a lot of settings here. Uh, but if you have the Essence respiration, you can connect it and choose it. And then your real breathing curve is shown in some view um, in parallel uh, with the Essence pulse HRV curve. Yeah. So this is pretty nice to combine heart durability biofeedback with your real respiration curve and try to bring these two curves, the HIV curve and the respiration curve in coherence and phase. You get uh, a, a rating, a metering for that, how good this is performed. So um, if you have an eSense respiration, you connect it to the skin response hardware, set it up, put it on your, uh, I suggest put it on, on your belly over your clothes while wearing the eSense pulse, chest belt be under your clothes and uh, when you have everything ready uh, you choose it here and you're good to go yeah if you ha want to use uh, another essence um, then tap the combined feedback choose in between temperature and skin response uh, for temperature you can also change the scale between celsius and fahrenheit and um, then also please connect it to your microphone input of your device yeah. So then you have the eSense Pulse connected via Bluetooth and the other eSense sensor connected via the microphone input. Um, then I show you uh, by tapping the demo mode here at the very bottom. You can we can have a look at the in demo mode. Um, when I have combined feedback on temperature here now, uh, for example, I go to back to open training um, and I start a training in demo mode. Uh, so now here uh, there will be some demo data now coming from the eSense Pulse. Yeah, so this is uh, your 
would be your heart rate variability curve. And um, in this view, you see it alone. But then you can swipe here at the bottom. And here you see uh, the temperature curve as well, together with uh, the heart scheme. Um, but you will also have the option to see it in parallel with your HRV curve as well. Um, when you're not in demo mode, I think for demo mode, we don't have this uh, here, but then you have both the curve and, and the temperature curve uh, beside and the hearts here on this side as well. Yeah, so um, you see it here in this view. This is uh, the, the option you have when you're using a smartphone, then you don't have this uh, view where you have bar chart and video uh, all together. Then you need to turn the device uh, horizontally, yeah, like this. And um, uh, then you only have the curve and uh, then you also have this view with both beside each other HIV curve and temperature curve or HIV curve and respiration curve. Um, I can show this as well, I think, uh, by stopping and uh, going here to settings again. And then we also can activate the, um, uh, the breath pacer here with using re Essence Respiration. Um, but for demo mode, I only use the breath pacer, go back to open training. And um, then we can see again in demo mode how that looks like uh, using the breath pacer. Uh, then we have um, this breath pacer in here, this breath pacer curve. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, what is recorded? Recorded is both. Yes. So uh, we record the pulse. We record also your additional combined feedback. So um, either your respiration curve here when you're using the Essence respiration, the breath pacer of course is not, not recorded. It's just an artificial signal. But if you're choosing the Essence respiration, then this is recorded. Or if you're choosing skin response or temperature, it is recorded as well. But it is not visible in the app, in the archive um, as, yeah, it's a, quite rare use case so far, this combination of, of two essence. So we have not yet uh, implemented it in the archive here. So when you look at the archive and look at your uh, recordings here, then uh, you will only see your HRV pulse data. But where is the data of both? Um, when you export your recording, you can do this by scrolling down and say export as CSV file. Yeah. Or you can hit the uh, top right button, this little export icon here as well. Um, and when you do this export a CSV file, then you have uh, a CSV file where you have your skin response, temperature or respiration curve in an additional column in the CSV file beside your pulse data. Yeah. So then you can do a very nice analysis of both. Um, and we have on our website, to get back to that, a very nice manual on how to use CSV files um, in Excel, or OpenOffice or Google Sheets. Um, many options you have to open a comma separated values files, just very easy file format to handle. Uh, in the download section, there is this um, file here. Uh, one more, what, where is it? Here's an example measurement, Essence Pulse CSV. And um, there is this Essence Streaming and Analysis um, CSV file as well. When you open this, that it's quite a um, yeah, complex document. And here you have examples where you can see uh, how you import such a file in Excel. And then you see here you have a column with the, with the time, the seconds, the here in this case, micro Siemens, uh, this is a recording of skin response, uh, this temperature, uh, here is pulse. And uh, then you will have for the pulse, like in this example, another column with micro Siemens. So you can put this curve here very easy with a few clicks. Uh, you can create a curve. 
from this uh, column in combination with uh, the Essence Pulse column and then you have both curves in one diagram and you can have a closer look at them. Yeah, um, we also have the marker options uh, if that's interesting for you. Often that is also asked um, if you want to use markers. They are also uh, an example of data that is not visible in the app but it's visible in the CSV file. So if you're going to settings, there is this uh, marker settings. When you scroll down a little bit, there is under general, the markers. Yes. Yeah? So when I go to markers, there's a default marker. You need to create the markers. Let's call it uh, eyes open or let's eyes open or eyes closed could be a marker or something like starting any activity. So I need to create my markers up front. Uh, and then while a session is running, I can select them and at time point they are written to another column in the CSV file that you can see here um, in the documentation in this PDF file is it also how to, uh, yeah, you see this additional marker column and how to uh, add them to your diagram here uh, as well with markers. Yeah, so this is also good to, good to know. So now you should know how to combine uh, two Essence Pulse plus another one um, in the settings of Open Training and in Procedures. If you are using the Procedures, um, let's create a little test procedure. I think it's also possible to use combined feedback in Procedures. We have added this feature quite recently. Um, so by add creating a procedure and uh, adding a module here in procedures, there should be also the option to use combined feedback here. So also you can have a single module of combined feedback in a procedure. Uh, you choose from the type skin response or temperature and um, you have some chart settings here and then you have this double diagram where you have HIV curve on the left and um, your other eSense curve on the right. Um, so this is an extra module for the combined feedback we have. And if you want to use the eSense respiration, um, then you can do this by also another module called the breath pacer module. And in the breath pacer module, you also have this tick here of use eSense respiration on or off, either an artificial breath pacer module or the eSense respiration curve is then shown as the breath pacer uh, instead of the breath pacer because it's it's like how you breathe. Okay, so here you also have the option to use combined feedback in procedures. Okay, um, this is it for combined feedback and uh, how to look at the data afterwards in CSV files and Excel or Sheets or ever. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, thank you very much for listening. Have a look at our other eSense videos. There will be more upcoming next. And, uh, thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.